Welcome everyone, I am Luca and I'm here to present my work on spatiotemporal consistent mapping with a specific application for robotics in agriculture. Now, why is robotics in agriculture important? With the adoption of new technologies, we can automatize production and the analysis required, being able to increase the production while keeping the process sustainable. One of the main aspects that is important to automatize in this context is phenotyping. Phenotyping is the measure of plant characteristics. Sometimes it is useful to keep track of these characteristics over time in order to understand their evolution. Automatic phenotyping is usually performed on static 3D representation of plants. Static 3D models can also be inadequate if we want to measure the same organ in different moments over time. Now, imagine that we want to perform some measurement on this leaf. If you now take the model of the same plant, but computed some week later, and we want to perform the same measurements to check the leaf evolution, with a new static 3D model, it will be hard to even understand where the leaf is now. First, we need to solve some matching problem. And this can be hard, especially with noisy models. Our goal in this work is to solve the main problem coming from static 3D models of plants by continuously updating a previously built model, matching new observations coming from new explorations. So, instead of building a new representation at every exploration, we reuse the previous one by deforming it according to the organic growing of the plants. This will facilitate the tracking of individual organs evolution over time because the association will be already implicit in the model itself. It will just be the same model deformed on new measurements. So we will actually use the same points to represent the same organs in different time steps. This will facilitate the job without any need of that association during the measurements. Now, when operating in agriculture, we face different challenges, especially if we want to deal with real-world data in, in an intrusive way. One main challenge is dynamic. Plants move continuously, for example because of wind, or even because they change shape while growing. A second major challenge is the noise, especially when using cameras. If then we translate these measurements in 3D models, we have to deal with a lot of noise. Coming from the sensor themselves, or by external factors like the light condition of the environment. Finally, all plants look the same. Usually it is hard to recognize the same plant sometime later in the same field because there is no distinct characteristic that appears immediately. Other approaches in literature already investigated the tracking of plant's evolution. Nevertheless, all of them rely on highly accurate sensors and models. To be possible to produce such accurate models, we need to work in controlled environments with the possibility to intrusively remove plants in order to measure them. Furthermore, because of that, they rely on single plants and it is not possible to adapt these systems on wild scenarios without modification on the environment. In this, we, in this work, we propose a system that relies on visual odometry, temporal point matching and rigid deformation to solve the problem of producing spatiotemporal temporal representation of plants in the wild. We work with consumer RGBD sensors on entire glasshouse rows, handling multiple plants at once. Our approach does not require any modification of the natural environment. We will show how our approach can also work with noisy and challenging sc scenarios by testing our system on real world data. We will rely uniquely on consumers' RGBD cameras. So, let's start by the presentation of our system. Imagine that we need to model plants in a glass house for our agricultural tasks. We first go in the field with our robot, and what we want is a simple 3D model of the environment. In order to achieve this, we need to perform a typical odometry and mapping task. This is an example of the result obtained with our method in our glass house using RGBD sensors. This serves as a reference map for subsequent updates. Now, 
Imagine that we go again in the same field some day later and we want to understand the changes occurred in the main time. To achieve this, we need to estimate the robot's pose relative to the reference map some days ago. This step is crucial for aligning the new observation with the previous ones, useful for next steps in our pipeline. In this way, we have for each frame an idea of which part of the environment we are watching at. Given that plants change over time, we focus on stable features like plant stems for robust pose estimation, avoiding errors that could arise from changing leaves and fruits. Now, it is time to exploit also visual information. In particular, we want for each frame to understand how that part of the plants evolved. We will exploit image point matching in order to have then 3D point to point matches between the current frame and the reference map. To do that, we need to find an image in the reference sequence that has the same point of view of the current frame. This can be hard because of repetitive structures of the environment. We solve this problem thanks to our odometry estimate. Thanks to our visual odometry, for each incoming frame we have a pose associated. In this way, we are able to understand which part of the plant we are watching at, and we can easily retrieve, basing on the pose, which image in the reference sequence was referring to the same part of the environment from the same point of view. Having two images from the two sequences watching at the same part of the plants can be exploited to compute image-based points association. We use SuperPoint to achieve this a visual features-based approach for key point matching. Now, for each frame, we have the pose from the odometry and in the same moment, we compute point-to-point -point associations between the map and the current frame. This is obtained by translating visual matches to 3D matches. Our approach filters out outliers using geomet geometric constraints and adapts dynamically to changes Ensure ensuring that only accurate matches are used to updating the map. Once the matches are there, we have for most points in the reference map where they should be in the future according to our measurement. We will use this information to deform our reference map. To deform our map in an efficient way, we rely on graphs. This is a sub-sampled version of the cloud with edges representing rigid constraints between plants' organs. This will allow us to perform the deformation only on a subset of representative points, saving time. Also, graph connections implicitly model the local shape consistency constraints that are useful for the optimization, as we will show next. At the end, each node in the graph gives, gives us information on how to deform the entire point cloud, obtaining the final result. The matches that we computed before will give us the information about where each node of the graph should be after the deformation. This will serve as an input to our deformation problem. We solve our deformation as an optimization problem. What we want is to deform the reference 3D map to align it with the new observations. We set up an optimization problem in which we want to position each point matched in new positions, forcing for local shape consistency as a constraint. This will bring each part plant organ in the new measure position. In particular, the energy function that we minimize is represented by these two terms that gives us constraint or local shape consistency, avoiding weird deformations and rotations that are too far away from the original shape. While this term is minimizing the distance between each node of the graph and its new position. We validated our approach using a dataset recorded in a glasshouse over a month, capturing significant growth and structural changes in sweet peppers plants. Our method showed better results in almost all the cases for the fitness of the alignment that gives us an indication on how good the deformed map fit the ground truth. As baseline, we used a classic GNU rigid ICP method. To see the actual benefit of our method, we need to watch at qualitative results. A qualitative evaluation reveals that our method maintains the integrity of plant structures better than the other approaches, even in the presence of significant growth. Also, it can properly move plants' organs in the new expected position. 
not considering only the nearest point, but actual organs evolution. This demonstrates the robustness of our pipeline in handling real-world agricultural scenarios, even in presence of noise. In summary, we have developed a robust, cost-effective system for spatial temporal mapping of growing plants using RGBD noisy cameras. Our approach successfully tracks plant growth and updates a reference 3D model accordingly. We showed, through experiments, that our system is suitable for agricultural robotics. If you find our work interesting, you can read the details in the paper or give a look at our GitHub repo that contains the open source code with all the new updates. Thank you.